Russia's stockpiles deplete. Russians are forced to send motorcyclists into battle instead of IFVs. There are about 9,300 infantry armored vehicles in storage bases in Russia, but most of them are either very outdated models or almost impossible to restore, according to data collected by open source intelligence, OSINT, analysts from satellite images, Radio Liberty writes. The author of the publication notes that the active use of motorcycles, ATVs and other light-wheeled vehicles by Russian troops at the front is not a sign of smart thinking but rather evidence of a growing shortage of armoured vehicles. In some cases, you can even predict what will happen at the front based on the state of the storage facilities. For example, seeing that most of the well-preserved BMPs have disappeared from storage bases, it is not surprising that Russia began to rely on other means of transportation. At first, they began using BRTs and MTLBs, which are not designed for assault operations. When losses continued to mount and the stocks of ready-to-use equipment dwindled, they began to use even less suitable means, such as ATVs or motorcycles, an OSINT analyst who tweets under the pseudonym Jumpy explained to the publication. According to his calculations, at the time of the invasion of Ukraine, the Russian army had about two to 3,000 lightly armored MT-LB tractors in service and about 3,000 more in storage bases. These vehicles are not intended for participation in combat, but the Russians were forced to use them in this role, which led to huge losses and the depletion of their storage bases. I think that the Russian army will soon start using the old BTR-60-70, MTLBU and even the BRDM-2 armored reconnaissance and patrol vehicles. Slowly but surely they are becoming more common in the weekly casualty data, although they were almost never there before. The latest satellite images confirm that Russia has started to withdraw large numbers of these vehicles from storage, Jumpy notes. OSINT and Analysts' calculations based on satellite images show that there is very little combat-ready equipment left in the Russian storage bases. Today, Russia still has approximately 9,300 armored vehicles of all types, except tanks, in its warehouses. According to analysts, less than 5,000 700 of these in working order, only about 1,350 are infantry fighting vehicles, equipment that is truly designed for combat on the front line and not for supporting tasks. Ukrainian new heavy FPV drones with enhanced warheads will be nightmare for Russians. The Ukrainian military has begun using a new model of a heavy FPV attack drone capable of carrying a 5 kilogram warhead. The footage of the drone's use was released by the Terror Unit, according to military media outlet. Heavy FPV drones with a six-motor design were spotted in service with the 3rd Assault Brigade, or rather its Terror Attack Drone Unit. The addition of two extra motors allowed the drones to carry a warhead weighing up to 5 kilograms, significantly increasing their destructive potential. According to the unit commander with the call sign Abdullah, the main purpose of the heavy drones is to destroy enemy fortifications, dugouts and buildings where enemy infantry is holed in. Indeed, in the released video, these drones are used primarily to drive enemy manpower out of buildings and closed fortifications. In the episode about preparing drones for flight, where operators hang a warhead, they showed different types of munitions, including thermobaric and high-explosive fragmentation munitions weighing about 3 kilograms. The combined tactics of using drones is also notable. The first drone, equipped with an explosive warhead, destroys the roof of a building, creating a passage, after which another drone with a thermobaric munition flies into it. Terror's fighters have launched a fundraiser for 100 heavy drones. In general, the military and philanthropists have been paying considerable attention to heavy attack FPV drones since the end of last year. At that time, one of the most popular models was the Mammoth drone, developed by the Ukrainian company Escadrone. It had a classic four-motor design and a 10-inch form factor. The Mammoth was a serial record holder for a long time as it could carry up to 4 kilograms of payload. With such a warhead, the drone can cover a distance of 12 kilometers. However, with a smaller warhead of 1.5 kilograms, the maximum distance increased to 30 kilometers. 